Hi, this is going to be my first YouTube video in a while, uh, for sure, like my second ever. Um, and I am here at VIMS, uh, the Virginia Institute of Marine Science, and I am sorting through some uh, plankton. I'm trying to take out the uh, larval fishes in a sample uh, because um, one of my colleagues is using them for a study and this is really cool work because you get to see all these little, little tiny things so um, these samples come in like this more or less like a soup um, and these jars they're under formalin um, they are uh, toes like plankton net toes and they just collect everything so there's there's inverts there's uh, phytoplankton and then there's ichthyoplankton to all the fishes um, there, there's eggs there's a bunch of stuff in there um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that sample uh, from this jar and then put it under the microscope and take out all the fishes um, from it um, like later we would like go through the fishes and pick them out and like sort them into different species or families or however it's best um, or however best you can do it because for small fishes in this stage called larvae uh, they're sometimes very difficult to ID um, so we'll, we'll see that so I'm gonna go ahead to the fume hood uh, to take this out uh, using this little strainer um, and we're gonna wash it with water to take out all the formalin and then that sample will go into um, into a plate that it will be like little subsamples of the big sample they'll go into this little plate that has a grid and then you go through it just picking out all the little things and it's beautiful these uh, little organisms are beautiful there's there's stuff that I don't know anything about because uh, don't ask me anything about inverts. Uh, they are just not in my league uh, right now. Um, but yeah, this is very interesting. I, I think that these, all these samples were taken with a 200 nanometer net. I may be wrong. Um, and it doesn't say here how um, much water was um, like filtered through the plant plankton net but uh, what it does say is that this tow took place from 20, 20, 21 hours uh, 50 minutes to 22 hours and 30 minutes so um, that's what that's like 50 minutes uh, in water this is not the entire uh, sample from that tow uh, it says that this is uh, I'm not sure if it is half or one quarter um, but yeah, so these samples come from Bermuda on this long-term project called um, the BATS LTR um, and LTR stands for Long-Term Environmental Research, I think, um, which it is this, these are these projects that take place all over the world uh, and they, they just sample um, stuff to see changes uh, through time. Um, but yeah, let me let me just head over uh, to the uh, to the fume hood. Uh, I have a little Osmo because I didn't want to be a GoPro person, but we'll see how it works. Uh, I know that the focal distance on these things is like 30 centimeters, so I just have to remember not to put stuff too close to it. Um, but yeah, then we'll bring it back, put it under a microscope, and we'll sort through stuff. Um, hopefully, you'll see stuff that's interesting. Hopefully, I'll I'll go I'll get to learn or um, see new stuff under there. All right, see you in a sec. So I have uh, just got back from transferring the samples into water. Now this is water. This is water. Um, so when you saw it before it was very yellow uh, and that's a formalin because these specimens are from 1993 I think um, let me just check 96 from 1996 so they have been in formula for a long long time 
um, and well, the color starts leaching out, and all that happens. But so far, it looks like they're promising. There, it, it looks like there's beautiful stuff in there. Um, this is the low sorting tray that I was uh, talking about. I think that these are a centimeter, maybe more than a centimeter actually, uh, squared squares. Um, yeah, that looks a little bit bigger than a centimeter, so it might be maybe like a half an inch. Yeah, something like that. Um, I don't know. Like, we're in the US. Metric is not always the answer. Um, so I'm going to put this under a microscope, put a little bit of the sample in the tray, and then we'll start to go through it. Now, this is the complicated part for me, I think, because I am transferring, or the way that I am transferring the soup into tray is just using this uh, pipette that I've cut the tip off. That way it's a little bit wider. Um, and it should work. The problem is that sometimes when you suck all the way down to a bulb, uh, stuff starts getting stuck there. So you just have to be careful about not leaving that stuff there, like washing the uh, the pipette. So um, let me see. I think I can. Oh yeah, perfect. So I'll just grab some of the soup. Put it here. Oh the. By the way, this takes a long time. You see I, that big chunk there? Some sort of jelly. Um, yeah, but sorting through this is ASMR, I guess. That's the name. I don't know how the youngins call it. <laughs> but um, it just takes some time. Let me just clean it up with this water. Here, so the this is the from the sample. It's just like I had some extra water from it, um, so it is all mixed. It is all from the same thing. Um, now, I have uh, my bamboo forceps that are very very um, flexible, and these are really good for grabbing stuff uh, that's very fragile. The problem with these is that this is not the version that's very pointy, so you cannot get um, like very, um, very delicate, like very small stuff with it, um, and just pick it. So I'm I'm just using these very thin uh, FST um, forceps. That I don't know the name of them, like of this type of forceps, but. Yeah, I have some bamboo ones that are very, uh, very pointy, and they would be perfect for this, but I don't have them with me right now. And then I use just these regular, um, like, like pointy tip ones. But these ones can actually, like, if you, you can stab uh, a specimen very easily with these, or you can just like, if you press too much on it, you can split them in half. So it's not good for. For, hand, for handling stuff. These ones are a little bit better. Now I can close. Yeah, that works better. Right? Alright, so the way you do this is you start hitting word that I'm doing it. So I'm starting to head down and then up and then down. But you follow this grid that way you don't get lost. That's where you are at. I always get lost, so I always have to retrace my steps. But you don't want to leave like a grid not seen because then there will be places that you would not see fine fish fishes um so let's start like we have a little bit of a problem here see some some stuff is floating and some stuff is at the bottom so there's a big gap between the bottom and the surface of the water which makes it harder for me to like have everything in focus um, I don't know if there's a way to take some of this water out. Maybe not. Maybe not for this one. For the next one, I'll take, I'll put less water in it. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Maybe I can put some music to this. And then, yeah. But the main thing that you're looking for with fish are, um, their eyes with fishes. So fish, 
fishes. I don't know if I should have clarified that. So when you say fishes, you're talking about like more than one type of fish. When you talk about fish, it could be either one fish or several fish, but of the same species. Fishes is like more than one species. I know, a little bit weird, but that's how, that's how we operate. Um, so I've seen these tiny little floaty things that are not floaty sometimes. I wonder if there are some sort of eggs. Um, I've seen them before. They're probably eggs. The interesting part is that these ones are very tough. Like, you can almost not squeeze them, which is for something that little. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know what they are. I see another thingy that's circular there. That might be some other kind of um of egg but you see i'm distracting myself i should so for finding fishes the first thing that i look at is trying to find eyes and these eyes tend to be brown um circular and they sometimes fall out hopefully you can see the fallen out eye here i think that's an eye that might be an eye let's see yeah you see that's the fish that's the, an eye of a fish um so we're we have a fish somewhere in here that's missing an eye. Oh, sorry, I had to clean my forceps. Um, uh, it, it looks like an interesting eye. I don't think we can ID anything with that eye. But I'm going to keep the eye. Because that's how I am. Hopefully can, I don't squeeze it. Whee. Okay, got the eye. I'm going to put it in the vial. The eye vial for now. Alright. So, let's continue going. Sometimes the fish is that we see you don't have eyes. So, you have to look sometimes for stringy stuff with no eyes. I don't see any fish. S here. <laughs> fish S. Is that an ostracon? Um, hopefully it is an ostracon. If it is not, please yell at me. Yell at me. Also, what the heck are these transparent thingies? They're so beautiful. And so geometrical. And they have like different structures inside. But I have no clue what they are. I have to ask what they are. You see? Here's another big squishy thing that I don't know what it is. It has poops inside. Oh my god, this plate, this part here is less squishy. I wonder what that is. Can I turn? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm messing the grid. I'll, I'll start again. I'll start over it again, but I want to turn this around. See what it is. What it like? Am I still in focus? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Squishy. Okay, let's see. Let's go back. Didn't miss. Do you see any fishes here? No fishes. This big thingy. What is that? I don't know. Shrimp looking thingy. So decapod. One, two, three, four, five times two. Yeah. Do we call that a decapod? A crustacean, for sure. Oh, the other thing that we're looking for here is cephalopod. So, if anyone sees a cephalopod, yell cephalopod. That's the way to say it. Um, here's an interesting thing. Do you know what that is? So, these things are all the hoot. In uh, paleoclimatology, is it? Paleoclimatology people um these are this is a, some sort of foraminifera uh which i didn't know are a kind of amoeba uh, until not too long ago that build these kind of shelly things and we can tell a lot about fossil like paleoclimate uh, by the way they're built i think i'm not an expert i know that there's some that um get wound a different way if uh, the temperature is different um, 
and yeah, foraminifera are really, really like they're they're found all the time in uh, fossil deposits. They are also used to age um, like rocks and stuff. Um, yeah, what is that? Yeah, but yeah, foram right there. What is that? Uh, maybe a part of like some sort of worm. With like next, oh, there's an egg there. Okay, gotta start finding fishes. Okay. Yeah, once again, I'm not an expert in many of these things. Well, I'm not an expert in anything to start with. Uh, but Why are you so small? we will. Um, We will learn, and you can always shout. shout. So, um, if I say something wrong, we're learning here, I guess. Not I guess, I know. I, I am not, oh my gosh, look, one of those big thingies. I really want to know what they are, because they, they're, they are, um, like iridescent somehow that like the way they reflect light is like blue and stuff I really want to know what they are and there are tons of them tons and tons and they're so tough yeah uh, I gotta talk sometime about my microscope setup too because um, this is sort of a a rigged um, dark field scope um, and it's a dissection scope, a dissecting scope, which some people like to call loops. But no, on the brochure for Leica, it says that this is a scope, a microscope, a stereo microscope. Um, I don't see any fishes yet. Uh, you see this big worm that is not a worm, and it's called a bristle? No, not bristle worm. Um, I forgot the name, but yeah, these things are fierce, and they devour everything, and they have these little, um, like hairs up front, um, Tino 4, no, no, not a Tino 4, not a Tino 4, I'll, I'll remember, look, once again, one of these very geometric uh, thingies that I don't know what they are like look how beautiful how absolutely beautiful that is the shape the 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 how it spirals and it has some stuff inside that it probably has eaten uh, it is also a little bit squishy squish test and you can see it has like little append like little organs around it just beautiful the edges also seem to mm, to like transmit to be a little bit iri iridescent or transmit light differently um, I don't know I don't know what they are I really have no clue it's probably like a fl <laughs> dinoflagellate or something <laughs> like that I don't know what I'm saying Ooh, what is that is that a part of a thing or a full thing? Look how beautiful that is. No idea. No idea. Okay. So we're just starting to get some more chunky material. I don't know what that is, but I see them all the time. And bear in mind that this is the third time that I've been doing this. So I haven't done this many um, samples yet pulling out the fish, the fishes, I don't know what that is, looks wormy, I don't know, that is a, um, worm, um, what are they called, I am forgetting everything today, polychaete, a polychaete, for sure, look at those big antennae, if that's what they are called, no fishes, like, whenever I see something brown like that, I'm thinking fish. But, alas, no fish. 
Boom. So, oh my gosh, this is very, very hard. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Look its eyes. It has a spine. Like on the on the tip of its eye. Like on the like can you see those? Look how cool that is. Look at the legs. The f the the appendages. Oh my gosh. How full of tiny structures and the muscle inside. Hold on. I want to twist this guy. I want to see him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, that's the way you want to see it. Come on. Look how cool that is. It almost reminds me of the head of uh, a fly. I hadn't seen anything with that, with those sort of structures right there. Yeah, freaking cool. Uh, so these samples, if I hadn't said before, they're from Bermuda. So Bermuda... And I guess that's a big jelly. Why is it so hard though? Like, it's really, really tough. Like, very, very tough. All the stuff that's just like glued to it. Let me see if I can turn around. And it, I thought this was open, but it isn't. It has some sort of a closed compartment there. I don't know what that is. Cool. Ooh. You see those eggs there? Are those copepod eggs? Amphipod eggs? Those are eggs that just stick behind the thing sometime a little shrimpy thing with weird eyes look at those look at those really cool eyes they're not symmetric at all now fishes look for fishes ostracon Are those the eggs? Like what was inside? Uh, these must be eggs of something or... Oh, I cannot wait to find a diatom. Those things are beautiful. The mangled guy. So far, no fish, no fish that I found, no fishes, <laughs> no fish, because I'm talking about one, no fish that I found, ah, <gasps> do you see that, I found a fish, and this is not a small fish, can you see it, ah, hold on, make it sink, I want you to sink, because I want to see you on the side, yeah, on the side. Can you see this little guy there? Yeah, that is a fish right there. Can you see the eyes? We're just talking about the the brown eyes. Um, so I am not sure what this is, or maybe I am. Maybe I. Uh, I would say maybe like family paralipidae, paralipidity. Um, which is within the order a lot performing is um they sometimes yeah i th i would say that 
yeah, paralipidity. Um, they, yeah, they sometimes, they have, like, at some stages of life, they have this tiny head, and then super long, super long body. Um, you can see a gut is just to this area of the head. We're not going to be IDing the fish, um, the, or the fishes that we find down to species, or family or anything in this video for sure because I just want to sort them out um, but that's what I would say in like first glance and I may be wrong so this guy is going down into the fishes vial um, let's see another for, for, forearm right there that little shock there was because I I put my forceps inside ethanol and then Putting them here in water, it just, I guess it dissolves the ethanol and just makes that weirdly thing. So you, those those eggs, you see these ones are attached um, to that copper pot, amphipod, whatever it is. I have to look up the difference between those. And I was probably explaining this in class, and I probably don't remember. jelly thingy there's nothing inside you it amazed me how tough that or thing maybe there's fish inside but I don't know so we have one fish look at the oh my gosh look at the 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 structures on the on the end of this thing, how cool that is! Those com like um, what are they called? Not complex lenses, compound lenses, compound eyes. It's always something really cool to see. Fishes. Wish there was a way to make everything sink. Is that one of the, the things with the spikes on its head? I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if there's <laughs> anything to break the surface tension and make everything fall. Like, no soap breaks. Um, surface tension. I don't know if it's good for the specimens, though. Look at that. It has eggs inside? What is that? I don't know. Look how beautiful these are. Oh, your head's squishy. Sorry. A lot of these things are remarkably, remarkably squishy. I was just looking at that little dot. And that thing has, does it have it on the other side? Nope. One side. Ooh, ooh. I just saw something that I liked. It's not a fish, though. These things. Wherever they are. Look how cool that shape is. Isn't it? And they're like sometimes like squared. Like very geometric. Look how cool that is. And can you see that it has little organs and stuff inside? I like those. And maybe th these become these. Because look, it has the same sort of like edge coloration. Gotta be back, make sure they didn't miss um, fish. Or many fishes. I see some brown there. Oh, you see, there's an eye. 
Is that a fish eye? That is indeed. This thing has been digested. What the heck? This old man goes up. There's no way you can tell what the... It's just, is it just the eye? Just an eye. Can you see? Oh my gosh. Yeah, hold on. This is a tail. Yeah, can you see there's. So, those little divisions that you probably can see there. Those little, um, like. How you slanted things. Uh, those are called myomeres, and they're sections of muscle. So if you go to a grocery store, get a piece of salmon, right? And you cook it, you see the little things, like, th that's really easy to break apart. Um, and those are those myomeres. What the heck am I pulling it from? There, there's no way I can ID that, or maybe there's a way. Something like it has a very interesting pattern. It's being partially digested. Is this part of the fish? We'll keep it. No, we won't. But we'll keep the fish. Alright, another one for the collection. It's interesting that although it was digested or something, it did not lose its eye. Hey, maybe the other eye is the other part. And there's that little thing we saw. Twenty six minutes to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see a diatom. Oh, I see a die. By the way, what are these? What are these? What is that? What are these spiky things? I see them all the time. Sometimes a lot more colorful on this area, but look, they look like. A really hardcore Medusa. But uh, can you see those filaments there? Pity this is like a larval crustacean or something like that. Crazy. But yeah, here you can see a little um, diatom. And this diatom has been opened. And you can see those two sections, which are called frustules. And they're like little petri dishes that go inside one another. So this one has been opened up. Let's see if I can very carefully separate the two frustules. Um, oh. So these frustules are made of silicon dioxide which you might have learned it's glass oh yeah you can see oh my gosh how cool they are i love the way they reflect the light isn't that awesome and we we're taught in class that um oh look that one's broken a little bit it has oh you can probably not see it that well um, but yeah, they're beautiful. So we're taught in class that, um, the diatom to reproduce, it splits its top and bottom frustrule and a new diatom comes out of one of each one of these until they are too little. 
um, because the thrust drills like one fits inside the other one so one's bigger than the other one but if you like reproduce that way you split in one and then a little um, a smaller thrust drill is generated inside of this one right then the diatom would become like tiny tiny at the end and that is when they become a cyst or insist or something like that and then they grow another big diatom um which is freaking fascinating like who yeah like what the heck evolution you're drunk but you're awesome uh, i'm gonna remember what these are i know someday like another uh polychaete Tomopterus, maybe? I don't know. Shot in the dark. Absolutely no idea. Um. Two more tiny stuff. No fishes. Ostracon, right? Or one of these big gummy things. Yeah, what are those? Is that like, ooh. Is that, what is that? Is that like an our baby worm? Maybe it is. I don't know. I love the eyes of all these inverts. They're wild. There's fishes with stocked eyes too. Uh, in their larval stages. So fishes, or at least marine fishes, or lots of marine fishes, when they're tiny larvae, they are very different to their adult forms. They go through um, like complete metamorphosis. Um, and he saw an exciting one in this, like, not in this batch, but in this entire lot, in this toe. Um, that we'll hopefully get to see it. But I'm not gonna ruin the surprise just yet of what it is. Let's see. Nothing. What is that? One of those thingies. Oh my gosh, I know. This is my calendar. Oh. Do you see that flower? Sort of shape of this? Must be a Medusa. I don't know. Come on. We need more fishes. What is that? It's a tiny little bug thingy. Oh, they're the ones with the cool lenses, aren't they? No, they aren't. Look, it's purple, pink. I mean, that's eggs. That's amazing that that pigment has been retained. It's like most pigments just get lost when stuff gets fixed then when it gets transferred to um, ethanol what is that <laughs> what is that isn't that cool what the heck is that oh no one of those spirally sort of thingies that has eaten something Come on, we're in the last column. No way we only found two fishes. Maybe, maybe I'm not paying attention. 
maybe I'm distracted with recording this video. Look at the cool eyes of the geese. Ooh, is that an egg? So we're like, we're also collecting fish eggs. I don't know, that's probably, I don't know if that's a fish egg. I cannot tell. I'm not gonna keep it. Those jelly thingies. Oh, the ones with the more the harder harder part here. <laughs> yep. It seems like we're not gonna have any more uh, this batch. Oh my gosh. I really want it now that I can move stuff around. Can you see the sort of tentacles? They're like only one side. Can I turn this around? I can. Yeah, this is definitely a jelly. I like a Medusa jellyfish. Um, I forget the yeah Medusa. That's a stage, right? This on right now. So I know that um, jellyfishes um, or jellyfish. I don't know if the invert people <gasps> would say the same. Um, they. They go through different stages where they can be like a polyp attached to rock. I don't remember what it's called. And then they um, they break apart into single medusae. And yeah, really cool. Medusae. But yeah, you can see the little like, sort of tentacles there. Alright, so let me, let me take this out. I'm going to put it in another beaker